ooh, I feel like I just left here. How many of you feel the same way? Got home at 1 o'clock this morning, and we're back already because this is where we belong. Now, when I told some friends of mine that we were having the service today, friends of mine who are pastors, one of them said, you're really an OG, aren't you? An original gangster pastor. That doesn't make much sense, does it? Because someone said, nobody has Christmas morning services anymore. Some churches are pre-recording their services and, and broadcasting them. Other churches said, we should not be here. Why? Why do you think their reason is? Because Christmas is what? Family time. Christmas is family time. You can come on up, my acolyte girl. You can light your candles now if you'd like. You had a little bit of a, I bet you had some fun at home this morning, didn't you? Did Santa Claus come to your house? Did you get something good? Is there a light up there anywhere? Or we'll, we'll get you, we'll get you situated. You just light those candles, girl. That's all right. We're going to have some fun this morning. It's family time, but guess what? We're a family in Jesus Christ, aren't we? Just like the Christ candle there. Lambert's prepared. Okay, there we go. How many grown people does it take to light a candle? At least three. Let's give her a minute to light her candles there. If I could be here saying anything profound, you're going to be watching her anyway. So we'll just wait a moment. It's fine. Thank you, ma'am. So Christmas is family time. But guess what? We're a family before God and Jesus Christ. We're here today not to celebrate Christmas, we're here to celebrate Easter, because every Sunday in the Christian year is a little Easter. That's why we're here today, because there were other faith traditions at the time, other ancient religions that had virgin births even in their mythologies, and other babies had been born and had grown into adulthood, and other people had been martyred for their faith traditions. But only Jesus Christ has been raised from the dead, and because of that, we celebrate Easter every time we gather. Every Sunday of the year is a celebration of Easter, and that's why we're here. And if I'm old-fashioned, that's okay, because I'm getting old. I'm going to be 65 next month. Good heavens, that's old. Everybody's saying, no, it's not. Everybody's agreeing with me, like, yeah, look at you. But we're here because it's Easter. I want to read to you again the call to worship, because this is our scripture lesson from the Epistle to Titus. His love, Titus. When the goodness and loving kindness of God our Savior appeared, he saved us, not because of any works of righteousness that we had done, but according to his mercy, the water of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit. The Spirit he poured out on us richly through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that having been justified by his grace, we might become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. We're here today to celebrate eternal life, eternal life. We're here because the people who have gone on before us, we're going to see them again because we're here to celebrate eternal life in Jesus Christ. Not because we did anything right, but because of who God is. God is mercy, God is justice, God is peace, God is grace, grace sufficient for every need. And in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. We've seen His glory, full of grace and truth. I don't know what you're all going to do today to celebrate your Christmas. What, what plans do you all have? What plans do you have today? Anybody going to go spend time with family today? Yes, Ivan's going to spend some time with me where I'm going to be sleeping, but he's going to watch me sleep, I guess, in front of the television. Who's, who's got other plans today? You're going to see grandchildren, anybody? You're going to eat. Okay, how many of you are going to eat something special today? Have a meal with your family. That's a good thing to do. How many of you have more presents to open somewhere? Okay. How many of you haven't opened a present yet or had breakfast or anything? You just sort of got up and came here this morning. 
or some of you had Santa come into your homes already. Whatever you do today, spend some time thanking God for Easter. Not just the birth of Jesus, but Jesus who was raised from the dead to give us new birth in his name. That is why we're here. That's why we celebrate. That's why we'll be here every Sunday. I will be here every Sunday. I can get my carcass in the car and get here. I tell you that right now. Because we are God's people in Jesus Christ. But we have to go into the world to share it. We have to go out and sing. On this, all the souls on earth shall sing on Christmas Day. On Christmas Day, all the souls on earth shall sing on Christmas Day in the morning. We want you to sing. We want you to rejoice. We want you to give thanks to God. That's all I've got to say this morning. It's not much, but it's enough because that is why we're here. We're here to celebrate Easter. We're here to celebrate the presence of Christ in our midst. We're here to get fueled up to send it into the world. So wherever you go today, remember to thank your God and your Savior for the gift of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Let's stand and sing, good Christian friends, rejoice.